Now you have, coming in this week, you have a defense that's probably just as good, just as good. or close to it. Or as probably good. better. Maybe. Especially in the secondary. And then they've got an offense. You know, they yeah. got a, a running back, Dalvin yeah. Cook, who's yeah. he's amazing really guy. tough. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, he's he, he could be a, a big-time runner in this league. Right. And then they got two really good receivers in Thielen yeah. and, and Stephon Diggs. Tight end. And Kyle Rudolph, pretty yeah. good tight end. He, they got all the, but they still come out. So you got to score points this week. I mean, yeah. I, I don't think you're going to win 10 to 3. Well, put it this way if the game is close, the Packers, I think, will win. But at the same time, Kirk Cousins last year here put up an amazing day against the Green Bay Packers. Yeah, second. He did. That, yeah. that guy looked at, I mean, this week against Atlanta, he threw for 98 yards and they won. Yeah, it didn't look very good. No. That offensive line is not that great. Either. No, that's where you have to make your hay. Yes, you have to you have to blast that offensive line, and the right. Packers yep. apparently have that ability now. Yes, but through hook or crook, they're going to score a touchdown or two. So you better mm -hmm. figure out a way to score against their I defense. Agree. I agree. And that's not going to be easy. And Xavier Rose, the top corner in the league, in my opinion. He got a little banged up, came back into the game. He'll be following around Devontae Adams. So the secondary receiver is going to have opportunities. Mm -hmm. They will. But Everson Griffin and these guys, that front, man, they come after the quarterback. They can rush just four. Harrison Smith, great safety. But, again, they're, they're good defense at home. Yeah. On the road, they don't play as good. Right. So you got to be able to score. The Packers must score. they got to score – as much as possible. They got to be very aggressive. Okay. Throw it deep, get in get in the groove of play action and going deep to back this defense up. Otherwise, it's going to be a low, another low scoring game. Hopefully, you can win that. Okay. So, let's I think it's time for your prediction. Yeah, I think the Packers will go 2 and 0 in the division, which will be tough. I mean, cuz if they if they're 2 and 0 five of the next six games at home, yeah. that's going to be amazing. They need and to. um and here's the thing. If you can get by this defense, these top two defenses, and go 2-0, and I think that you're in position now to do something a lot of people don't think you can do, and that's control the North. Because Chicago and Detroit, they got to just kind of figure out what's going on at the top. Yeah. So I think, Bill, what was my score, 21-17 or 17-14? 17-14. So I think the Packers will win 17-14. Low, low scoring. Yeah. And if they get into the 20s or the 30s, then the Vikings have a better chance of winning. Okay. But as long as they keep it low, a defensive battle, if it's a defensive battle, Aaron Rodgers is the better quarterback, then the Packers will win. But Aaron Jones must get more than 13 carries. Okay, there yep. you go.